If I think this person's maybe got on a one wall, they're in early stage, early paroxysmal AFib, then am I going to use the strongest drug that I think can suppress maybe up to five walls worth of AFib? No, that would be overkill. That would be malpractice in my mind because then you're exposing that person to all the risks of the stronger drug before they need it. Yes, it will keep the AFib asleep a lot longer than a weaker drug, but they can be exposed to more side effects and, and I just don't agree with that. So I would try to use a drug that's just strong enough to keep the AFib asleep. So if I choose the weakest drug that I I think can suppress maybe one and a half to two walls worth of AFib, and I think they have maybe one wall or half a wall. I put them on that, there's less likelihood of bad side effects long term, and they could do great for a number of years. But the medicine will not work forever because remember, the medicine is not getting rid of the AFib cells. It's not like you take it for a few years and it magically destroys the AFib cells and cures you. No, it's just keeping the AFib cells asleep until it can no longer keep the AFib cells asleep. And when might that happen? When the AFib has progressed to a point where you have more AFib cells than what that drug can add adequately keep asleep.